Mark McGowan wants people from the eastern states to move west. Yeah. We'll take anyone. <laughs> Almost anyone. McGowan will use Friday's National Cabinet meeting to send a message to anyone in the hellholes of Sydney and Melbourne to come to Perth. McGowan has a simple message. The Premier said it was so good out west and so dire back east that it was like two countries. Hey, stop talking bad about my town, man. They might have trouble finding a place to live when they get here. Yeah, the Premier's making his plea to go west at a time when Rewa has warned that at the end of May there were 12 suburbs in Perth with just one rental property available. Fewer than 2,500 houses to rent in the whole of the city. Yeah, but at least houses here in Perth are cheaper than the east coast. Yeah, but try buying one. And at three bucks a brick, good luck building one. If you're watching this in Sydney and Mark McGowan's convinced you to come across the Nullarbor, make sure you keep your packing boxes. You could end up living in them. <laughs> OK, so housing isn't a reason to move here. McGowan says it's for the lifestyle. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Just ask this lady. She became the latest face of violence in Perth when she was bashed senseless for no reason whatsoever in her home in Atwell. That incident came hot on the heels of the beating of Good Samaritan Chris Hands. He was bashed while trying to protect elderly residents of a retirement village in Hamilton Hill. The latest home invasion came as an inmate at the Yonga Hill Detention Centre in Northern was killed during yet another riot there. The 32-year-old victim, he was Turkish, died after being stabbed on Wednesday night. The riot continues the rich history of violence in WA's immigration detention centres. The one thing that's consistent. Oh. In February, 80 police stormed Yonga over a massive drug trafficking operation. Alleged drug trafficking operation. A massive <laughs> alleged drug trafficking operation allegedly being run by New Zealand detainee Andrew John Hickling, who is allegedly linked to the Comancheros. Is that enough allegedly? Thank you. Okay. Last August, McGowan said he was in the dark over the transfer of inmates from a detention centre at the heart of Sydney's COVID outbreak and placed in Yonga Hill. In May, a 20 metre tunnel was found by guards, was started under the floor of one person's room. There's mobile footage of inmates digging Shawshank Redemption style. In January 2020, there were protests over bad conditions and rotten food. You call this slop? Real slop has got chunks of things in it. This is more like gruel. In September 2018, we had more mass riots and fires. OK, but it's not like people are moving west to move into detention. Well, it's the only place you'll get a roof over your head. <laughs> WA is a particularly good place to live if you're a criminal from the eastern states because you can be confident that if you bash innocent people, the West Australian judiciary won't be too hard on you. Career thug Brett Peachy has proved this again by walking free from court despite monstering his former partner at their one-time family home. Chaos, as he's known, that's with a K for the love of God, drove his BMW into the garage of the house and then abused his terrified former partner who was ringing the cops as she ran away from him. How does a bikey afford a BMW? I've told you this before. How does a bikey get a million bucks? I think we both know the answer to that. Containers for change. <laughs> the judge said chaos needed to undergo a 10 month supervision order. Hang on, that's wrong. It's an intensive supervision order. Wow, no need to panic then. No, not at all. The one time bandito bikey was sent to jail a while back after police found footage of him next to a shotgun saying, quote, Copper's gonna die today. When Magistrate Thomas Hall sent him away for that, chaos lost the plot in court and called the judge a c. Pet shop boys could be sued for false advertising. You know what? You're always bagging Perth. Hey, there's no place I'd rather be. The people, the places, the smiles on their faces. I'm Ben Harvey. For more up late, click the subscribe button below.